Hey, uh, how you doing everyone? Force Raider here and welcome back to another episode of Puzzle Agent where we are going to be helping Nelson Tethers figure out just what exactly it is that is amiss in Scoggins, Minnesota because the sheriff is most certainly not on our side. What exactly it is that happens at night in Scoggins that everybody is so afraid of or is just the sheriff trying to screw with me? What's up with the gnomes and why are a bunch of people chanting in a lodge? Cultural heritage, he says, but I don't buy it. I don't buy that. Not one bit. And why is Mrs. Dabner running around the town all skulking in the dark kind of deal? I, I, I'm, I'm actually genuinely, genuinely curious about what's going on there. So I guess we'll go ahead and get back into this. Where's going to pick me up at? Oh, I'm going to probably need to fix this. Okay, I just I loaded the wrong save. Um, I think I got it now. Maybe. Well, these are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear oh. I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative though. Okay. Uh, a ceramic gnome has disappeared from the hotel display. But which gnome? Identify the gnome in Martha's photo negative that doesn't appear in the display. Okay. Ah, uh, <laughs> photo negative, okay. Oh, man. I hope I got that. Oh, thank you. I actually had to stare at that for a while. I wasn't totally sure if not just the colors, but if the entire image was inverted or not. Well, one of your oh. gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> oh, well, I guess that was kind of a clever little joke. But uh, wait, what am I supposed to do again? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, okay, I'm on the right one. I'm on the right one. Nelson still got snowmobile trouble. Rearrange the logs so he will track through all the footprints before arriving at Glory's destination. Okay. Yeah, this is always the same. I mean, this has to be right. It feels like it's too simple. Come on. Oh, I missed one. Shit. No, no, pack up. Damn it. Oh, I was right about it being too simple. Yeah, I know, rejected. All right, this uses all the sticks, or logs. And see, so he comes down here, gets those three. Uh, gets those three. Comes back over here, gets the one I missed earlier. Comes here. Is this right? Yeah, because I already have those three. Is this correct? Hmm. Ah! Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, well, still shame on me. Uh, oh, you know, it's always shame on me. Let's be real here. I don't know where I was going with that. I guess I was trying to sound clever. Doesn't it sound like a dumbass? Well, at least you have a little bit of a smile on your face, Tethers. Glory was headed toward the factory. I gotta catch up with her. Oh. Wait a minute. If she leaves the... She's leaving food outside. Is she... Now I'm confused. Yeah, they didn't like being seen, did they? But was who was the food for? Was it them or was it whatever the light was? Oh. Nelson, move. 
Move. Oh. You're right there, Tethers. Ow. What? Uh, okay. Yeah. Um. Mm, oh, I'm confused. Oh, like spacesuits. Should I talk to this guy? Wait, do I know you? You. You're the foreman, Isaac Davner. Oh, that's Davner? What happened to you? Where am I? He is not very uh, responsive. Clutching that gnome hat like no tomorrow. What are those things? The gnomes? Was that real? <laughs> yes? What is it? Oh. <laughs> um. I I I don't know what to say to that. Other than probably shouldn't be re relying on uh computers that use reel to reel. Draw paths to connect the loose ends, red to red and yellow to yellow. But be careful not to let the wires cross. A path segment can run between any two adjoining points. Oh. Oh. There's a bunch of solder pads everywhere. And wait. Are we counting the, the traces? What's going on here? Oh, I just have to draw a line to it, don't I? Well, this makes it a little difficult. Oh, I think I'm starting to get it. Uh huh. -huh. Yeah, that's got to be it. Hmm. Uh huh. I mean, yeah. Screw up in space. Uh huh. a little bit better about that screw up or from earlier oh oh hi Bjorn oh what happened I found you unconscious in the woods did they speak to you did who speak to me <laughs> I want to look at this picture I'm looking at a photograph of the Brotherhood. Isaac and Mike Lobb seem to be part of this group, and they seem to be friends. Interesting. Oh, uh, I feel a little bit more, more or less bad about Lobb dying then. Uh, that looks familiar. What should I, oh, that's all that there is. Okay, I'm gonna need some real answers now. What exactly is going on here? What's wrong with these people? They are in deep meditation. If you open your mind and let yourself hear the whispers, there will be no mysteries in life you cannot solve. Speak to them yourself if you want solutions. Um, sure. What are these little creatures I keep seeing? They are not creatures. They are people older than any of us, living in what nature still exists around us. Good answer. Isaac Davner's still alive, isn't he? The lock on the factory door. He didn't build it himself. You put it there to keep him in. Or to keep people out. Why? He has been spoken to. 
It is actually a great honor to have been chosen. Chosen for what? That is not for us to ask. I'm gonna need a second to question these people. Do what you must. <laughs> oh, now he's just out, out of it too. All we can do is open our minds. The language of the hidden ones is expressed in puzzles. Interesting. The probability is you'll be able to solve. Oh, I can't even read that. Oh, I'll solve the riddle. Hmm. Blind Lars Yorkson's mother knitted him 25 pairs of socks. Five striped, five plaid, five spotted, five argyle, and five with owls playing the fiddle. Being a teenager, Lars failed to pair his socks and threw them randomly in his drawers. How many socks must Lars pull out before he can be absolutely certain he is holding at least one matching pair? But six. I didn't even have to try. Perplex sock picker. Hmm. <laughs> no, I don't need a how on that one. That's a piece of the machine locking the factory. Where did you get that? Oh, well, he's most likely not going to answer you to others. You see them, don't you? Listen to their words, their riddles. Edward knows it's time to stock the Windawachi River with ribblebacks. Draw the four clutches of fish to release points, keeping in mind these rules. Schools will swim toward the river, splitting evenly at each fork. A school that can't split evenly will be paralyzed with indecision. Marsh Marmots will eat all fish who enter their turf. The marmots are either in Mythpic Marsh or Abominable Swamp, but do not. Oh, but not both places. Do not. I'm not working with that. Exactly 16 fish must arrive safely at the river. No more and no less. Ah. Uh, but not both places at the same time. Okay, so if I send one group of fish there. Hmm. When they hit these, they have to split individually. Now I need to get 16 fish across. Eight, six, four. Okay, I, got, I have 21 fish here. This is actually kind of difficult. I, I feel like I don't totally follow, but this might be my best possible solution. I mean, it has a possibility of there being 16 arriving. Uh, yeah, I figured as much. Uh, yeah, so it's saying no matter what, I have to be, pre I knew it, ha I knew it was gonna be like that, that I was gonna have to be prepared for either way. Regardless of which one of these paths they hit, 16 have to come out. So if you take away whatever fish pass through here, 16 still have to be out. If you take away what fish ever pass through here, 16 have to come out. Hmm. I have. Wait, I have 21 fish though. That doesn't work. Oh, I think this is right. Yeah, because I, I believe with this one, five fat, uh, five fish would pass through here and five fish would pass through here. I used a hint. Sorry. It was pissing me off. Ah! Gribbleback baffler. Yeah, it had me pretty baffled. Oh, wait, what? It... He doesn't look too happy. Is it because I used the... 
the gum. That's it. Only one more piece. What have you got for me, Bjorn? Rocks, trees, animals. Do you ever just stop and watch the birds, Mr. Tethers? Mm, occasionally. A quorum of crows congregating in rows. An alignment for clothes is an omen of woes. How poetic. Bjorn has photos that show a quorum of crows on his clothesline, a dark omen. Keeping in mind the images may overlap, what's the minimum number of crows pictured? I wish you could move the photos around. Eight? Is it eight? Mm. I am sucking today at this. What's the minimum of... What's the minimum number of crows visible when the photos are fully overlapped? Um, well, let me overlap them. Then, asshole. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. I just typed in six. Yeah, I just, I just clicked six. It's the correct damn number. That's what the hint just showed me. Why is that wrong? You piece of shit. Come on. Wait, what? What's wrong now? Did it not mean to show me all that? It just showed me that there was what's going on here. Did my game break? Hold on. What? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm very angry with this. How? Yeah. How indeed. When the pictures are fully overlapped, only five crows are visible. Are you sure about that? My, I might just be, have, I may have just read that wrong, but then I think my game started acting weird and it screwed with me. That's all of the pieces. Now I just need to reassemble them. Mm-hmm. This gear appears to be one of those assemble it yourself dealies. Can you fit the pieces together? Maybe. Oh. Gnomes again, stealing my shit. Oh, I hate you little bastards. Damn it. Where are you, you little thief? Hmm. Hmm. Is there any gum out here? Ever? I'm not ready to leave yet. Oh, well then, oh. Arrange the logs to help Nelson collect the stolen pieces of the broken gear and discover where the gnome is hiding. Yeah, drag logs as you now now Nas must run across every piece on this way to the factory. Yeah, well every gear piece, yeah. Oh boy. Mm, why is this so hard? Unless I've completely screwed this up. Oh, I did. Shh, wait a minute, no, I didn't. Oh, good, because what I had on there was wrong. <laughs> I gotta clean off my screen now.
gotcha. One of those things stole the last piece I need to get into the factory. Looks like it's headed toward the lake. Bjorn's people may try to protect it, I'm not sure. Either way, I'm getting that piece back. You go, Tethers. Wait, are, are you not gonna do it? Oh, okay, I was supposed to go back to the lake. All right. Oh, here's the piece. And some gum. I'm running low on that shit. I don't like the looks of this, Tethers. <sighs> oh. Hey, let me out! You don't understand! The hidden people need Isaac! I don't know why, but you have to let him go with them! I'm not gonna let you people keep him locked up in a factory like fate! I'm sorry! Wow. Gotta get out of here. Yeah. Hope there's no time limit on this one. The key to the skylight is inside one of these dead fish. But which? Hurry and find it. The ice fishing hut is sinking fast. How the hell did the key get inside a freaking dead fish? Each fish is one other fish inside, except the one with the key. Counting swallowed fish, the whiskered red fish is the least numerous kind here. All fish dine on the next rung of the food chain. Except tiny tanfish who eat their own kind. The key is on a line with five fish. Oh, great. I have to figure out which one of these has five fish on it. So if it's five fish, wouldn't it be this one? Because these two each have the tanfish in them. Like I kind of just looked at that one almost immediately. Why is that wrong? Oh, am I supposed to pick a specific fish? I didn't think about that. Oh, I'm shit. I've read this wrong. It just I didn't understand. I don't think I get this. I think I became stupid recently and suddenly I'm not able to do any of these puzzles. Wouldn't according to this, it would have to be one of these four uh, whiskered redfish. These four red catfish. Um, I wouldn't be able to understand why it would be in any other because it's got to be the key is on a line with five fish. I don't I don't get this. Why am I <laughs> losing my mind? I did a random click and it really didn't tell me any new information with that hint. So that was worthless. Go, 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 go. Good job, Tethers. A harrowing escape. That was a close call. What the heck happened here, Agent Tethers? Sheriff Bob, Glory Davner tried to kill me. Come on, Tethers. You sure that sweet little girl? Sheriff, I swear, she is not as innocent as she looks. Okay, I'll go find her and ask her a few questions. You stay out of trouble now. He's so full of it. Oh, the eyes are moving weird. I like my office. It's warm in my office. 
It's quiet in my office. There are no maniacal gnomes or chainsaw-wielding waitresses in my office. <laughs> <sighs> I need to get back to the lodge, fix that gear, and get the hell out of here. Well, you got what you needed. Oh, hey, gum. Yeah, to replenish the one I just used, a uh, wasted more or less. Okay, let's get this gear back together. Yeah, okay. This is actually like a really easy puzzle. Ta -da. I don't even know why it just gives you a submit button. It should just automatically do it once you get that right. Yay! Woohoo! Locksmithing learner! Yeah, I work for Adams Holmes. Where's the Adam Holmes? Adams Holmes? Adam? I'm not sure. I can't oh. let you go. You just don't come into our town and pretend you know how everything works. I think I'm starting to figure it out. Mm hmm. What you, uh, what you looking at there? Can't help yourself, can you? You want? <laughs> oh. Oh, you have a problem, Sheriff. Maybe I should have took his gun, too, while I was at it. Wait, is that gum? That's the first piece of gum I found the whole time. And it was just a little dot. Are you serious? Did he wreck my snowmobile? Sheriff's as crooked as they come. Looks like he sabotaged my snowmobile. Uh, somebody get my tools. It's time to go ahead and undo Sheriff Bog's mischief. Sheriff Bog has sabotaged Nelson's snowmobile. Rotate tiles to create a path from fuel tank to exhaust. Oh my, what's the fuel, what's the fuel tank? <laughs> oh no. And if I don't get it right this time, I'll be really, really angry. So much suspense for the little stem. Snowbill snafu. Yeah, it's a real snafu, isn't it? Alright. Okay, the audio happened before Dithers took off. Isaac, I'm with the FBI, Department of Puzzle Research. If you're still in there, don't worry. I'm coming in to rescue you. Yeah. Nelson's three gears seem to come apart, and it looks like the pieces can be rearranged into one giant super gear. Can you get it in gear to solve this puzzle? Oh, what a lovely pun. Oh my, do I have to use all the pieces? Probably. In my personal opinion, this doesn't really make like the most sense, but whatever. You know, whatever gets me into the eraser factory. Woohoo. Oh. oh, well, I guess I could use a little bit of a win right about now. I mean, Tether seems to be feeling better about himself now. That was a tricky one. Uh oh. <coughs> what happened there? I don't know. Oh. Jeez. Isaac? Traps. Isaac? 
Stay there. I'm coming to get you. I have a feeling Tether should have closed the door behind him. Oh my. Um, what do I what do I do about that? Oh, I hey, gum everywhere. There's delicious, glorious, enticing gum. I don't see any more little any more little dots. Blocked. So. If, if the circumference of the earth is four times that of the moon. Mm -hmm. I swear I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to clear this path and we can get out of here. Yes, but how do I do that? Nelson's path is blocked by a giant Scoggins eraser. Cut the support to drop the obstacle, but don't drop Nelson by mistake. Oh, well, this is easy. It's this one right here. Hope you guys like my little musical interlude. Yeah. Barrier blot out. Barrier be gone. That was very... What's the word I'm looking for? Underwhelming. Who's hot gum? More hot gum. It's even hotter because it's closer to the flames. Oh, I, I got thrown off by my perspective of what direction Nelson was heading towards. Go okay. Back. Rotate the tiles and... If X is lying, please. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't sound good. If you can get this furnace hot enough, it may blast away the remaining debris. Pack objects into the opening, but don't let them overlap. What? Why? Why would that matter? This is another throwaway one, isn't it? Yeah, throwaway. I guess they just really don't want you to screw up at this part. Oh my. No. Ah, more gum. I'm just getting all that delicious goodness today, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Everything's coming up, Tethers. Almost there. If Nelson could just maneuver the three hydraulic lifts into place, he could reach the office door, drag the arrows to create a command sequence, but beware of bear traps. Drag and drop arrows onto the monitor to construct a command line. Each arrow moves all lifts at once. Commands execute in order from left to right in rows from top to bottom, a lift will be stopped by a wall or other barrier. A lift will stop moving when it reaches its goal. Don't let any lift encounter a bear trap or it will be destroyed. Yeah, that's a very weak lift. Don't think that that would be a great idea. Wait, so, so the commands work like this? What happened? Oh. Oh no! That actually, like, got me just a little bit. Oh. Stop looking at me like that. You're giving me the heebie jeebies. Why are they helping me? Is it because I'm leading them directly to their prize? If Nelson, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Shit, makes me start all over again. I mean, this looks correct. I don't, it, it didn't say I had to use all the slots. 
You gonna show it to me? Oh no. They don't, um, I thought that the ones that hit over the targets would continue to move afterwards. Uh, shit. Nelson can jump that last one. Yeah. No, okay, now that I, I didn't realize that, all lifts need to be in place before. Yeah, you didn't tell me that they don't, mm, that they don't move once they hit the target. This should be right. Man, I love how this draws out my suspense. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're in place. If they have to be in specific order, then I'll be pissed. Ah. Okay. Hydraulic headache. No kidding. That's it. Let's get out of here. Oh. Oh, there he is. Why? Why what? Oh my. My, my earlier hypothesis was correct. Oh shit, I didn't even see the one with the bullet in its mouth. Well, I mean, three of them had that. Jesus Christ. What do we do about this, Tethers? Racer factory back well open. Well done, Agent. Tethers. Heck of a job. You got that factory back open and the president is pleased as punch. Really? Well, he was never actually aware of the West Wing's racer shortage. But rest assured, I'm sure he's happy to have not had to strike anything through. Oh, thank you, sir. Now back to work. Sir, about the factory foreman, Isaac Davner. Doesn't concern us, Tethers. Any missing persons can be handled by local law enforcement. But... You did your job. That'll be all. Oh, okay. Hey, Tethers. What's a nine-letter word for baffling? Recondite, sir. Ha. Huh. Thanks a million, Tethers. No wonder you're our star puzzle agent. Don't butter me up. Thank you, sir. A man is missing. All right, Tethers, what now? Oh. Well, I now know where I, I, I come into Puzzle Agent 2. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> I just saw there's a you. Yes, you. That was, uh, that was interesting. Oh. Oh, so just hanging out here with tethers as he chews up a bubba and sharpens his pencils. You look kind of at a crossword there, buddy. Yeah, I bet you are. Oh, that was interesting. I, I didn't expect that ending. Um, I lie. I totally expected that ending. It just kind of seemed like the whole point was all that crap was to keep the gnomes away from, uh, what was the guy's name again? Oh, oh. Danver. Dav Davner. Isaac. Isaac Davner. That was his name. The whole setup was to keep the gnomes away, and it, and it got pretty apparent pretty quick. That that was the whole point. 
At the same time, I don't understand why the sheriff was in on the whole thing to keep me from getting in there and... Huh. So does that mean that the sheriff was protecting Isaac Davner from the gnomes, which would mean that he believes in the gnomes? Hmm. I don't know. I'm pretty confused. Good thing there's a second game to go to, so next time I'll probably be starting Puzzle Agent 2 pretty soon. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you just have an opinion of voice, why don't you go ahead and leave your comments down below and I'll get back to making more awesome videos for you guys. Later.